Right, so what will we, we want to do is to be able to access our my hue uh, LED lights. So what we have is a bridge here. So it's a little bit difficult to see there, but uh, so there's an Ethernet connection in there that goes into our wireless device. Uh, at the back there we have our wireless router. that uh, on top of that we've got one of the LED lights it looks kind of orange there but it's actually uh, looks quite red from where I, I can see and then over here we have another LED light okay quite a big one here so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to access these lights and uh, see if we can control them so the first thing uh, that I've done here is uh, I've set up the the bridge to have a fixed IP address uh, of 192.168.0.11. So we'll just have a look to see if we can access that one. That's great. Okay, so what we need to do now is to actually have a look. So it's done by RESTful Web Services. This is our first script. Okay, so there's the the one nine two one six eight zero dot eleven. We use JSON strings and we use REST for web services. So the first thing that we're going to access is this API here. So this API here will create a, a new user called the new developer. Then what we'll do is that uh, we'll call up slash API, and then we'll uh, call up the new developer that we've just created and then lights and it should show us the status of all the lights okay so let's go ahead and uh, what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just power power off the bridge initially so that we're back at a known state okay so I've powered it off you see the little light flashing here so then what we're going to do is we're going to run our Python script. And then what we see here is user unauthorized and then the link button is not pressed. So that's a security uh, implementation there. So we have to actually press the button here. Okay, so if I press that button, See it's flashing now. Okay, and then I run the script again. That's it. Okay, so we can see it's went success, username, new developer, and then it's given us all the lights. Okay, so there is light one, state on, brightness 254, hue zero, and so on. So this is obviously uh, light one. Okay, and light two. Uh, we should find that uh, that's not actually on. Okay, so th so there is that's our our lights, and we've we've got the status from it there. Jason, uh, the way that we read that is that that's the variable on, and it's false. That's the brightness. It's two five four, uh, and and so on. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have a look at our other script. So the colors are set with a, with a hue value. Okay. So this is the hue value here. Okay. And uh, the second value. And third. Okay, so we can pick a, a hue value. So let's see, we go for two six one two two six five as a hue value. So we'll bring up script. So in this one what, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to go for light number one. So I'll try for light number one. Okay, so the uh, the URL is 192.168.0.11 slash API new developer lights one and then state. state. And then we, we perform a post operation, a put, sorry, with the JSON string as the parameters that are posted into the into the website. Okay, so the first one will turn the light off. 
and if we go for a value of 256 for the hue in fact let's go for light one yet yeah. 256 okay so the light will go off for two seconds and then we'll go on for another two seconds and then I just keep going round and round so I'll give that a try so we'll run our Python script oh, quite bright I don't know if you can see that <laughs> Uh, but you can certainly see the light is going on and on and off. It's a little bit delay in, in the video from, from them. Okay, and then we can do the same for the other light. Just let me turn that one off. Get into a state that's off. We'll now look at light number two. So we can do it from here. I'll go for a different hue volume, 500. Okay. Let's get my video back. So I don't know if you can see that, but now the other light is going on and off. Um, this, this one over here. Okay, this, this, this light here, you can see there is on, there's the off. Okay, so we can try and change the hue values. Let's go for a value of 10 for 1,000. Yeah, it can go right up to 65,000 as a value. Slightly different shade of red then. And so on. Okay, so that, that gives you uh, an introduction to the um, the wireless uh, the my hue uh, LED infrastructure and it's all to do with this little guy here the bridge and it should be easy to to configure it.